And just like that, I have this whole side of the car straightened out. Doors all lined up. And I'm going to spot weld this door to the body. That way I can get the whole body put together. And I'm going to cut it back apart. Then I'm going to cut the top off the car and start chopping the top and doing the suicide doors. And I'll, I'll kind of do some more videos. But you can see I've been doing some of the body work right in this area. All along here. And all this right here. This whole body was all smashed and crashed and beat up and tore up and whatever. And, and uh, I got to do the back fender still, but I got to take it off. But you can see the body's nice and clean now. All down the side, the lines are all lined up, top part's all smooth, you know, the stuff that was all bent real bad, it's not all jacked up now, so I'll film some more in a bit. Alright, so I have this whole front cab section put on now, and it's turning out really nice, and the clamps are just holding everything together so I can start welding this body back together. And then, like I said, I'm going to just weld the door shut for now, not all the way around, but I'm going to just weld some clips. Or I might take some Clico pins or something and just Clico this thing together so that it's held together so that I can start getting the body you know, straight. All I want to do right now is I want to get the body so it's kind of clean looking, uh, half ass where it needs to go. That way I can start um, straightening that side right there that you can see on the opposite side, it's all wrecked up right there. And, and then, uh, then I'm gonna get the body and I'm gonna sit it up on top of my, uh, my frame table. It should, the frame table should be here uh, hopefully Monday or Tuesday. And the frame table is something that's true and square and plumb and you have holes all over it where you can bolt the car down to it and build some brackets so that you can actually weld the car to the table and then uh, it's a 15 foot long table but it'll go in here and then or in the other big shop but it's a 15 foot long table that will sit the car on top of and then it's uh, stuff like this I'll be able to straighten you know pulling it with chains and come alongs and everything else and porta powers and I'll kind of take you guys through that uh, while I'm doing that um, I'll straighten the whole body of the car up you know where you guys can watch it on video or whatever <clears throat> but uh, I'll keep you posted so this is what it's about right here sitting with your dog out in the garage at two o'clock in the morning having some water and eating an orange and I figured I'd let you guys join me so uh, I got a lot of stuff done on the car tonight I got the body all put back together and I I'm having trouble with trying to get the other side straightened out because there's not really a floor in the car no way to uh, straighten the other side so I think tonight I'll probably start pulling off the back fenders getting those taken apart. Um, I got the body all welded back together. I'll show that in a little bit. Um, but the, when I say I got the body welded together, I'm talking about uh, I just spot welded the doors to the body. That way I can get the whole body work, all the body work done on the car, all the metal work done. And then as soon as I get all that stuff done, I'll, <coughs> I'll put it up on top of the frame lift or the welding table or something, the whole body, and then start doing the chop top and the suicide doors and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I was getting real hungry. It's like two in the morning and it's really cold outside and I don't feel like walking to the house. So I'm just going to stay in the garage and, and probably just sleep out here tonight. I don't know. And my dog's eating oranges with me, which cracks me up. You want one? Hmm? Sit. Sit. But I appreciate you guys sitting out here and keeping me company. Want an orange? <laughs> so I think the next thing that I, I want to probably do too is that car used to have a cloth top on it. And uh, I'm going to build a piece on the English wheel a whole piece of sheet metal so I can weld into the top of that car so that the body's all one piece and it's not all floppy and you know saggy and floppy and whatever and uh, that way it'll strengthen up the body a lot more <clears throat> um, I got most of the body work done on the one fender on the front I'll start on the other front fender and the two back fenders I'll get those all straightened out 
and then I'm gonna start building panels for the bottoms probably next but uh the, my main thing was to get the body all uh you know set up where I could put it up on that frame table and start doing straightening it all out and welding on it and everything else you don't want the body all sitting all crazy on the frame when you get the car all done so and I'm gonna talk to my buddy tomorrow I'll probably get the uh the new frame here for this and if I have time tomorrow I don't know but I'm gonna run a Chevy S10 frame with a small box Chevy and airbags and all that good stuff and uh I'll probably try to get the frame here tomorrow if I get time that way I could start setting the body on and off the frame and building the mounts and floors and get the seats mounted in it. But so far I have uh, probably a full day into it about, I don't know, about 10 hours or something into the car. And it's uh, getting pretty close where I can start setting the body on the frame already. So it's going to, it'll be a fast build. Um, I have till April to get to uh, Viva Las Vegas car show, but I'm pretty sure that in about, you know, one month I'll have this thing pretty much roadworthy and then I gotta do all the stuff that takes a lot of time, the wiring and the windows and um, I, I am gonna run uh, air conditioning and heater in this one, I'm pretty sure. We'll see what happens. And, uh, you know, I want a nice heater and everything like that. One of the other things too that was pretty cool is I noticed the windshield uh, pops out and uh, it has a vent in front of that too. And I got the windshield to pop out tonight, and so the windshield's working, so that's pretty neat. But anyways, enough rambling. Hope I didn't bore you guys. I'm just out here sitting here. I'll probably be out here all night, so I'll probably do a couple more videos goofing off. Thanks for watching. So it's now 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'm still out here dinking around with my uh, car. And this, this whole side panel right here was bent, so I took an old... Uh, jack from a car and welded a rod to it right here went over to the other door of the car which is welded together and what i did is i set it up so that uh, this would be kind of loud but and i took a impact gun and this is a three quarter inch right here where you this is the part where you jack the car up and whatever and i set it up so that when i push this jack apart i have straps right here because this car was folded in half right here and I got it almost all the way out right now but the straps are holding it and then I'm pushing the bottom part out and I'll show you how that works it turned out pretty good you know it it works pretty good so I'll, I'll kind of go along and show you guys what I was doing perfect and then now I got to get my shape like my door and then uh, I'll put some bracing in here and then start building the floors for the car. And then uh, I'll have to do some hammer and dolly work on the outside of the car right here, but it worked pretty good. Um, this car, it was a pretty cool story behind this. This car, uh, when I got it, a buddy of mine, we were uh, picking up a bunch of scrap metal and stuff. And we were at this guy's house and we asked about the car. And uh, he says, oh, that, that piece of junk that's out there. And so you guys all know that my other car came out of the river bushcraft betty the one that i drive around um that one's that's a cool little car and and then you know i wanted to do the same thing with this car and i, I like to take on projects that are just impossible something that people look at and they're like that thing's a piece of crap you know but this old man had this car and it was on it, it had to have been 30 i'd say 30 feet in the air and it was uh way up on this big old pile of metal and scrap cars and junk and there was like mobile homes in there all this stuff was just stacked way up and right it was like a diamond in the rough this car was sitting right on the very top of that <clears throat> and it was pretty cool because uh, my buddy and i we seen it and we wanted it and we asked him about it and he says yeah you guys can have that piece of junk you know and then it was like well how do we get it down from there so he has a logging company and so we took his logging clam uh, hydraulic setup that he has on the back of his truck we parked his diesel truck right there his big rig next to the bottom of the pile and then just reached up and real carefully grabbed the car and a lot of the dents and the crush spots and whatever in this car are from that you know when we took it down that day and then it sat out in the junkyard um probably a year and then a tree fell over on it uh earlier this spring and when the tree fell on it it smashed everything and that's when i said cool now the car's to the point where I want to build it. So 
and here she is. It's turned out pretty cool. But anyways, figured I'd share with you guys. Later. So this is where I'm at right now. I got the body all welded together and cleaned up, looking a lot better, and welded up the top and straightened some of the top. And then you go over to this side, I'm working on this section right here. This is real bad, but the car, it was the part that was folded in half. Right here, it was folded in half. The whole car was there and then it dropped down and then went all the way across the bottoms of the doors. I haven't messed with the bottoms of the doors too much. I did a little bit just to get it straightened, but uh, I got the door all put back in the, in the jam and then uh, the rest of the car I'll put back together. If this damn thing will focus. <clears throat> And then uh, it's getting there. And then tomorrow morning I'll work on this section here. And it's gonna be kind of tricky because it spreads open right here and then I gotta bend this down. So I'm gonna have to do this with the port of power and stuff. But I'll get it all figured out. And then as soon as I get it done, I'll start chopping it and doing the suicide doors and all that stuff. But I, I wanna make sure this body is nice and straight before I do it. Anyways, thanks for watching. I am wiped out. It's like four in the morning right now.